pieces. Um, it is basically just silk flowers with a vase and then or vase and my table numbers. So that eliminates actually um, having to do a table number and spending more money on things like frames and such. So this is part of my centerpiece. The way I'm having my reception venue set up is I'm going to have um, tables along in basically a U shape and everyone will be sitting on the outside. There will not be um, two sides to the table, it'll only be one. So this will go um, on the edge of the table and then also in between each of these because I think I'm going to have either six or seven of these. Um, then I'm going to have some vines or more um, vines with this type of flower in it. And then I'm going to have tea lights all uh, in that as well. So first you will need basically four types of flowers. Um, three of the same color and then one of your pop of color basically. So these are the colors I have chosen um, because they are my wedding colors, teal and then like a lime green. So basically what I am going to do or have done already is take these and because they are one single stem at the end, you have to actually split them all apart. Um, so basically what you have to do is use a knife um, and scrape off this plastic part Sometimes it'll be easy to do that, sometimes it's a little bit harder with these. You can tell that they actually dip the whole thing into um, the plastic, so that means it's all covered, um, all the wires. So basically what I had to do is scrape off this and then slice down the middle to try and break them apart. Then after that, I what I did was I took the leaves and I push them straight up to the flower and that actually helps with um, the amount of coverage that you're going to get with your um, flowers. With this one I actually didn't do that but my next ones I'm definitely going to um, because I think it helps for sure. So I am actually have a set done already. So this is what you're going to have, and you can see they're all apart there. Um, now if you do have a problem with your flowers falling off, you can actually just take a little bit of hot glue, um, or even some crazy glue, and quickly glue them back together. As you can see, this one doesn't want to stay on. <laughs> so okay, so we have our four types of flowers. And what we're going to do is basically what I did with this one is I started with my biggest flower first and then I added one of each around it. So I basically go like this. And then what I'm going to do is actually take some electrical tape because that's what I have for right now and it seems to work pretty well. Um, that's what I used with my last one that I did. So I'm going to take that and just wrap it around and this helps keep them all in place and then that way if people do touch them um, at the table they aren't going to basically screw them up um, or have them fall apart on them. So what I'm doing is just wrapping it around about I would say I want to say about there so about halfway just so that they are all not going to move okay so just like that and I'm gonna actually grab a pair of scissors I forgot my scissors Okay, so there you have it, the first one is done. And now what you can do actually is kind of pull them apart a little bit um, just before you start to see spacing in between the flowers and that'll help make your bouquet um, more full. Now again, you're just gonna take another flower of each and arrange them 
in a way that you're not going to have duplicates beside each other. So again, just like that, take your tape. And I think you can get electrical tape for pretty cheap. I think you can get like four rolls for a dollar or a couple bucks or something like that. So, and I should mention um, the pricing on my flowers. I did get them all from the dollar store. And these were, this bouquet was $1.25. So same with the green one. And then this one here was two, $2.50. And then also this one was $2.50. So that's actually more than what I wanted to spend on um, these ones and these ones. Because normally at our dollar store, they're $1.25 a piece. Um, but I guess the pricing went up because those are a little bit bigger than normal. So I could have actually gone to Michael's and gotten, you know, better flowers for probably cheaper than that. Um, but I didn't realize that until after. Okay, so there's your next one. And I should mention you don't want to cut any of your wires just yet because you want to make sure that they are going to fit properly in your vase. Um, and also what I've done with this one is folded them so you end up with a base so that it helps sit properly. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on with this and um, I'll show you the next step. together so it is not going to come apart um, as you can see I have a few extras left over and that is because I don't have enough of each of these so I have to kind of split them up so that I have equal amounts in each bouquet now now what you're gonna do is you're going to have to kind of judge to see where you're gonna bend um, your wire so basically mine is pretty good I would say so I'm just going to start bending just below the tape and bend my wires outwards. This will help make your bouquet stand better, having a little bit of support at the base. If you guys did your own bouquets and centerpieces for your wedding, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys used. If you used real flowers, fake flowers, and how you did it, what they look like. Send me pictures on my Twitter and I'll definitely look at those. So as you can see, I'm just doing it in a circle bending every other one or so into a different direction. So there you go, it stands by itself. Now what I'm going to do is just cut with some wire cutters just so that I know it fits in your vase because as of right now it doesn't fit. And don't cut them too too short just yet 
because you want to be able to adjust them if you need to. And you might want to wear safety glasses to do this because the wires do kind of shoot off. So you want to be careful with that. Just keep cutting until you know it'll fit in your vase. Okay, so now you can see that my flowers aren't kind of kind of standing upright. So you want to just adjust them until it does. So that might mean bending some of your wires up more because they're too far down. Or bending some down because they're too high up. Now if you want to, if you're not going to do the table numbers, you can actually stick this in some rocks or have some rocks around the base um, to help it stand up even better. But for the most part, I think that's pretty good for mine. It is a little wobbly. I'll probably play with it a little bit more later. Um, but as you can see, m mine is pretty high. So I can either take my flowers and bend them down a little bit more. Or I can actually adjust this even more so that they are shorter. So now I'm going to have to cut my wires again because they now became longer at the side. So mainly it's just playing with it until you have it right. So I think for the most part my center pieces will be costing me about $10 a piece um, by the time I'm all said and done. Okay, so there you have it. I think mine is pretty good. It is a little bit wobbly, but I'll fix that later. Um, so basically for your table numbers, if you're going to do that, what I did was I just went on Photoshop or you can use old school paint. Um, that's like my favorite program because it's the easiest, but basically what I did was write the number, um, N O and then dot and then my number for my table. So as you can see, mine is way too big can, uh, compared to the vase right now, but I am going to, um, be fixing that. I just did this as a test the other night, um, to see the size of it and my printer is actually broken right now. So, what I did was I just folded over for the purpose of this video. But what I'm going to do is just basically wrap this around in the vase. Like so. And there you go, you have your table number. And then you take your bouquet and you set it inside. So, obviously you're going to have to play with it. Um, but that is pretty much my centerpiece. Um, I hope you like this video. If you got some tips from this, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any tips for me, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.